Hey guys, don't you hate turning on the light when you go to the washroom at night? Well, I'm about to show you how you can install an LED strip light under your cabinet kick toe that turns on automatically when you walk in and turns off automatically when you walk back out. So here's what we need for this project. We've got our 12 volt power supply, which will have constant power. We've got this motion sensor switch and an LED strip. This is already pre-wired. If you want to know how to uh, wire it, check out my other video, how to wire an LED strip. Uh, it shows you the basics of how to do this. I just wanted to save some time right now, so I've already done it. And normally, what you would do is you would just have the LED strip connected straight to your power supply if it was being powered from a switch or something. But in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to put this motion sensor switch right in between the two. So this switch will be connected to here and to here for the light. This switch has an input and an output. The packaging shows the input, the power coming into the switch, is the female end, and the output, the power going to the LED strip, is the male end. Now in my case, I'm going to actually cut these ends off because mine's already pre-wired, so I can't use these ends. I'm just going to cut these off and uh, strip it, which I've already done with this other one here. And before I cut it off, I actually labeled in and out so I don't get confused later. And you'll notice the wiring has, one is just a white and another one has black stripes on it. Same thing with the output or the input, whichever this is. One is white, one has the black stripes on it. So what I'm going to do is since these stripes are black, I'm going to assume this is the negative. So I'm going to take my in, this guy here, connect the black to the black and the white to the red. Then I'm going to take my out, connect it to the LED strip, again, black stripe to the black wire, white wire to the red. I'm going to power up this power supply and see if our light turns on. And if it ends up that the light doesn't turn on, then these wires might be reversed. This motion sensor switch has some settings on the inside, so I'm just going to open this up and show you how you can make some adjustments to it. So right here is the sensitivity setting. You can adjust this right or left, uh, more sensitive or less sensitive. And this one here is the delay time. So how long before the light shuts off after it senses no motion. Once you've adjusted your settings, you can just put the back cover back on again and stick this to your wall. So I just want to show you what the finished product looks like. You can see the glow of the LED strip under the cabinet and you can see the reflection on the tile because it's a glossy tile. And right there in the corner, that's the motion sensor. I'm just going to open the cabinet over here so you can see what it looks like. So there's our junction box with all the connections inside of it and the wire going to the motion sensor. I'm going to pull all this wiring out so you can see what it looks like. Now none of this is live right now because I shut the power off to it. Now it may look a little bit intimidating with all of these wires in here, but actually these are two different transformers. This setup right here is actually for shower lighting that I can show you in a future video. 
This one right here is actually for our uh, kick toe lighting that we're dealing with right now. So what I've actually done, uh, now this was completed before all of these cabinets went in. So I've got the wires coming into the back and actually the power for this comes from this GFI receptacle just up over here. So that if I ever want to do any maintenance work, I can just trip the GFI receptacle and there's no power down here and I can work on it like I've done right now. We have our uh, number 14 uh, two wire coming in, bringing the 120 in to this transformer. So this number 18 wire goes out of the box. You can see it over there. It just kind of goes under the box, comes out this way. I drill the hole right here and it goes through uh, the cabinet under here. There's a, there's a space over here, so that's how I decided to run it. So I've pulled this sensor off the wall just because I want to show you how it's wired. So again, this number 18 wire goes through here, comes under here, there's a hole, and here it is. So we've got our black and white, our negative and positive, because this is DC, and they're connected to the out uh, input, the output goes to our LED strip connection, which is just kind of hiding under here. I'll show you, here's the LED strip. And we've got the red and black wire coming out of the LED strip and connected to the output side of this motion sensor. I'm just gonna tuck all this wiring back inside of that uh, open space and uh, stick this back on with the sticky back. But first I just wanna put some electrical tape around it because I don't want any of these connections becoming loose. Once I'm kind of tucking it in and maybe sort of uh, hitting it against something uh, in there. So I'm just gonna tape it back up. Make sure it stays nice and tight. Let's just tuck this back in here and hopefully nothing comes loose. Now one thing I wanna mention, you need to think about the position of this uh, motion switch because when I initially installed this, I put it this way and the toilet is about seven or eight feet away. So the angle of this, when you were sitting uh, on that side of the room, you couldn't really see it. So when you put it this way, it senses when somebody walks into the room and it senses when somebody's in the room on the toilet there, for example, and it'll stay on. So we'll just reset this GFI receptacle and the light should come on. Hey, I hope you guys liked this video and uh, found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button below and subscribe to this channel. And if you found it a little bit fast paced, um, if you need a more in-depth explanation of how to wire an LED strip, uh, check out my other video, uh, How to Wire an LED Strip.